actually worked. So you just spawned in and Jason is trying to kill your ass. What you gonna do? There's a bunch of different ways to survive in this game, but today, you learn how to stealth. I know you might think that the title of the video is some bullshit, but uh, it's not. And here's why. That's right, with the right perks and the right playstyle, even with Jason's sensibility, he can't even see AJ. Here's a few more examples. No way. Now you see me. Now you don't. No way. No. This is the power of AJ stealth. Get used to it. Now, even though Jason can't see AJ with his sensibility, he can see those white blips. Those blips happen because you're running or tripping, so I always recommend you jog or walk. By the way, even though you can hide with AJ's stealth in a tent, don't do that shit. Nobody wants to see you hide for 20 minutes. When building a stealth character, you're gonna wanna have stealth perks. And the best stealth perks are the ones with sense avoidance. I prefer to use the heavy sleeper, the homebody, the level headed, and best of all, the low profile. Keep in mind, you only have three slots, so you have to make the best of them. I'd recommend using the perks with the most sense avoidance. Now that you got your perks all set up and you know Jason can barely see you if you're doing it right, let's get into some tactics so you can avoid Jason when he's on your ass. The best places to hide in this game are going to be behind doors. Open the door, stand behind it. If you have a Jason that's not too keen on what's going on, he's going to walk to the room, not even notice that you're in there. Notice how I left this room untouched. I didn't open any drawers and I didn't open any windows that allowed me to go back and close that door so that if Jason opens it, he doesn't think anybody's ever been in this room. And then once he leaves, we out. There doesn't even have to be a door there. Find yourself a nice little corner right out of his view and then let him walk by. Once he leaves, go ahead and get yourself to the next safe spot. Now as a stealth player, I recommend that you avoid other counselors. Problem is, a lot of times they're gonna draw Jason towards you because they don't have any stealth. Look at all the people that are around right now. Yeah, and look at AJ's face. She knows it's not a good spot. Take a look at my usage of the doors when I know Jason's around. You can hear them music. Use those door jams, get to a good spot. This just so happens to be one of my favorite hiding spots right here in the uh, Pakanak upstairs. Can't see me behind this door and only the best Jasons will find you. I avoid hiding under beds and in closets because the counselors mouth breathe worse than I do and Jason will hear you. So stay away from those areas unless you have to or it's very close to the end of the round. And we out. Being stealth doesn't mean you're always going to be hiding. You're always going to be repairing stuff too to try to get your ass out of there. So you need to master the mini game. You do not want to make noise during a mini game. Otherwise, it's not even stealth. What are you doing?
I haven't mentioned it, but AJ's weapon of choice should be a gun, whether it's a flare gun or a shotgun. Reason being is because she's pretty weak and she can't really stun Jason all the time and you need him to be stunned. The guns are going to do it every time. Now, if you followed all my tips and tricks, you'll survive more often than not. So congratulations, my friend, and I will see you in the game. This is the first video of my tips and tricks series. I plan on doing all counselors and Jason. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned. And the best way to do that is to subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching. See you.